How do you optimize slow performing queries in SQL? Optimizing slow performing SQL queries is essential for improving the overall performance of your database application. Here are several strategies and techniques to help you optimize slow SQL queries. Analyze and identify bottlenecks. Before making any changes, analyze the query execution plan to identify performance bottleneck. Most relational database management systems provide tools for visualizing and analyzing query plans. Use proper indexing. Ensure that your tables are appropriately indexed. Indexes can significantly improve query performance. Use index, index on column frequently used in where clauses and join condition. Consider using composite indexes for multiple columns used in conditions or joins. Avoid using select star. Retrieve only columns you need in your result set. Using select star can fetch unnecessary data and slow down your query execution. Use join efficiently. Use the appropriate type of join, inner join, left join, etc. based on your data retrieval need. Avoid unnecessary joins that can increase the size of the result set. Ensure that join conditions are well optimized and use foreign key for relationship. Filter row early. Apply filter in the where clause to reduce the number of rows involved in further processing. Filtering early minimizes the amount of data that needs to be processed. Avoid subqueries where possible. Use joins and join condition instead of subqueries for data retrieval. Subqueries can be less efficient and than joins, especially in correlated subquery scenario. Use aggregate functions sparingly. Aggregation function, sum, count, average, etc. can be computationally expensive. Minimize their use or use them after filtering rules. Optimize data type. Use appropriate data types for your column. Smaller data types can improve query performance and reduce storage requirement. Partition tables. For large table, considering partitioning based on column like date, which can help improve query performance by reducing the amount of data scanned. Update statistics. Regularly update table statistics to help the query optimizer make better decision about query plan. Limit and Paragnate result. If you don't need to retrieve all the row at once, consider limit offset or fetch first to paginate result. This reduces the amount of data transferred. Use stored procedure. If you have complex queries that are executed frequently, consider encapsulating them in stored procedure. This can improve performance by reducing query compilation overhead. Catch a result. For frequently executed query with relatively static data, consider catching the result to reduce the load on the database. Rewire hardware and configuration. Ensure that your database server and hardware resources are properly configured for the expected workload. Check for system resources constraints that may impact query performance. Load balancing. If your application has high query volume, Consider distributed database load through load balancing or shredding. Use query performance tool. Many RDBMS offers query performance tuning tools or advisors that can suggest optimization based on query execution plan. Profiling and monitoring. Regularly profile and monitor query performance. Identify slow queries and optimize them proactively. Benchmark and test. Implement changes carefully and test the impact of query performance. Benchmark query before and after optimization to measure the improvement accurately. Query rewriting. Sometimes rewriting a query using alternative syntax can improve performance. Experiment with different query formulation to find the most efficient one. Remember that optimization is an ongoing process. Query performance can change as data volume grows or as your database schema evolves. Regularly review and adjust your queries as needed to maintain optimal performance.